everyone. Today we are discussing some common errors. First, since versus from. Since can only be used with perfect tenses and that too only for incomplete actions that are still ongoing. From on the other hand can be used with any tense and is used for completed actions. For example, I have been studying since 4 a.m. or I was studying from 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. Number 2. Ago versus before. Ago does not require a specific point of reference and it is always related to the present. So I can say I went there four days ago. I don't require a point of reference. But when using before, you have to mention the specific event or time before which the incident happened. For example, I went there four days before my holiday. So the holiday becomes the point of reference. Number three, me versus I. I is used when the person speaking is the person who is performing the action. Me, on the other hand, is used when the person who is speaking is receiving the action. For example, I studied. I can say, he encouraged me. So, me is receiving the encouragement and I is performing the action of study. Number four, if versus when. If is used when you are presenting a specific condition. Whether is used when you have specific alternatives that you can choose from. It is usually used when we have two alternatives. For example, we have to see whether it rains or not before we go out. Or I can say, we will go out if it doesn't rain. Number five, less versus fewer. Less is used when we are talking about things that cannot be counted such as sand or sugar or salt. Fewer is used for things that can be counted. For example, I would like less sugar in my coffee. Here we use less because sugar cannot be counted. However, I can say I would like fewer sugar cubes in my coffee because sugar cubes can be counted. Number six, beside versus besides. Beside is always used to indicate either location or position. For example, I placed the book beside the lamp. Besides is used to mean apart from or in addition to. For example, I would like to go out. Besides, it is a holiday. Number seven, it's versus it's. It's without the apostrophe is always used to mean that the object belongs to someone or something. It's with the apostrophe is a contraction of the words it is or it has. For example, the dog is chasing its tail again. So here it is chasing the tail belonging to the dog. I can also say it's a really fun activity. Here I am contracting the words it is a fun activity. Number eight, among versus between. Among is used when you have many options that you can choose from. Between is used when you have only two options. For example, I have to choose between the red and blue decorations. So my two options are red and blue. Among can be used when I'm saying, I have to choose among the available decorations meaning there is a wide variety of people. Number nine, that versus which. That is always used to add information that is necessary and essential to the sentence. For example, I want to read a book that is interesting. So this means that I don't want to read just any book. I only want to read the book that is interesting. Which, on the other hand, is used to add additional information and if you remove this additional information, the sentence remains the same. For example, I want to read a book which has many characters. So it does not change the fact that I want to read the book. Number 10. ICE versus ISE. Some words in English are used with two different spellings. 
words such as advice or practice. Now, when we are talking about the name of the action, then we use the spelling I see. For example, I need your advice. Here, the action is need and advice is the name of the thing that is needed. When I'm using it as an action, I have to use ISE. Don't advise me. Here I will use ISE because advice is the action. That's all for today. I hope you will correct these common errors and speak more fluently. Please make sure to like and subscribe for more tips in English.